Today we will be cooking the tartlets that my husband adores. He thinks these are amongst the best dessert he's ever tried. We will begin by caramelizing the hazelnuts. Prepare sugar syrup in a white pan or in a saucepan with a thick bottom. Melt 60% of sugar and 40% of water together at low heat until the sugar dissolves completely. Then add the hazelnuts and keep heating them at the same temperature for about 2 minutes. Put the hazelnuts without syrup on the baking paper sheet and bake them at 150 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. On to the next step, preparing the whipped coffee ganache. Here I have already warmed up half of the cream, gelatin, instant coffee and vanilla extract in a saucepan until it steams. Then I add it to the white chocolate. Remember, the important thing, as we always do with the gelatin, we let it rest with cold water before warming it. Now it's time to blend the chocolate and hot cream mixture. It's important not to introduce air bubbles into this emulsion. If you have an emulsion blender, perfect. If not, like me, tilt the measuring glass at 45 degrees and slowly dip the blender, holding it as much in parallel to the floor as you can. Knock it a bit to release air bubbles that could get under the tip. Start the blender. Press the button steadily and keep the glass and the blender at 45 degrees. Blend for about 2 minutes. Add the second half of the cream and continue blending for another 2 minutes. This small amount of air bubbles will go out when we pour the ganache into a white bowl and cover it with a cling film in contact. Put the bowl in the fridge for 8 to 10 hours to stabilize. Before making the coffee ganache with a milk chocolate base, we should protect the tartlets from liquid mousse that will fill the upper half of the tartlets. We should cover the tartlets with a thin layer of melted dark chocolate. It will protect the dough and also will give a nice thin flavor of dark chocolate. I use a baking brush for doing it. Now we can prepare the coffee ganache with the milk chocolate base. Warm half of the cream, coffee and gelatin in a saucepan at low heat until we see stable steam starting to rise. Now put the milk chocolate in the measuring glass. It will be easier to blend the small amount of the ganache that we are making. Blend the chocolate and hot cream mixture. Add the other half of the cream to the chocolate and continue blending until it's even. Add the butter, continue mixing. The dark chocolate on the tartlets has solidified by this time. Put the caramelized hazelnuts in the tartlets and fill the tartlets halfway with the coffee ganache. The working temperature of the ganache is 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. Stabilize them in the fridge for 2 to 3 hours. After 2 hours, then the coffee ganache is almost stabilized in the fridge, we begin preparing the white chocolate mousse that we will use to fill the tartlets to the brim. First, as we do for any mousse, we whip cream until it looks like melted ice cream. We need cream with 33-38% to fat. The right consistency looks this way. We warm the cream until stable steam across the surface comes out. Pour in the chocolate and add the gelatin. We don't have enough hot liquid to melt the chocolate, so we help ourselves with a water sauna. You can also use microwave and warm it with short impulses. Melt everything together until the chocolate base is even. We add whipped cream to the chocolate when the temperature of the chocolate base is 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. 
If the chocolate is too warm, it could melt the air bubbles that we whipped in the cream. And this way we will lose the right consistency. Mix the cream and the chocolate base with a silicone spatula. Fill the tartlets with the mousse to the brim. Put them in the fridge for 2-3 to three hours to stabilize. Eight hours have passed and our future whipped ganache is ready to be actually whipped. Beat it with a hand mixer at low speed. We have to get this texture. Don't beat too hard because we don't want it to be loose. Fill the piping bag with the whipped ganache. I use a tip called Close Star with a 10 mm diameter. You can use any you like. Decorate our tartlets with whip ganache and caramelized nuts. And enjoy! If you like this video, press the happy button under it and subscribe to my channel. A new video is coming to the channel every two days.